Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a 2017 update to a model originally launched in 2010. In 2010, the 39 millimeter. Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda 1950 launched. Well, in 2017 at SIHH, Parmigiani launched this one millimeter larger at 40 millimeters, and now in stainless steel, this is the Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda 1950. So the watch is 40 millimeters in diameter in steel. It's only 8.4 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip, 43.4 millimeters with a nice broad modern 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch is super slim, being a dress watch and a micro rotor. It'll easily slide underneath the cuff. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the lugs come nowhere near the edge. That's one of the advantages of the short lug to lug. So you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. The dial is large, but the lug to lug is short. Don't be deceived. This watch has a lot of presence, but it is not big. The strap. One of the stakeholders in the Parmigiani family of companies is Hermes, which is why the OEM straps for Parmigiani are made by Hermes. You can see this one is brand new, never crimped, never gouged, a buttery soft brown calfskin on the bottom, large rectangular scale alligator leather on the top with a matte finish a sheer cut edge and a monotone stitch. Look how close the lugs are drilled to the case. This is to allow a relatively narrow center to center dimension from one spring bar to the other, which allows the watch to fit easily on a small wrist. But often when you drill lugs so close to a case, the straps motion is impeded by contact with the case. Not here. Parmigiani creates little recesses. You can see how the case has been flatted out. The case back was flatted out and so is the flank of the case. So the strap actually tucks into that little recess that gives it a full range of motion with no impediment. So you can pull it straight down around a tiny forearm if you have one thoughtful design. We have a stainless steel twin trigger release, single fold deployment clasp that is beautifully made. The twin triggers giving you an element of security so it won't pop open by accident. We have lovely teardrop profiled lugs and they're incredibly handsome. Lovely sculptures in their own right. What I love most is when you look at them from this angle, you could see that they curve inward. There's a little bit of a dished concave inflection to these lugs. They're not straight from end to end. They dip in and out from end to end. We have a bezel that is incredibly shallow, vaguely conical, and barely there. We have a Parmigiani Fleurier branded crown. And then the dial is a large opaline silver. It's a silver white. It has a light frosted finish. It glows rather than explodes like a sunburst. A sunburst has a very strong metallic directional grain. This is more like a very, very fine sandpaper. At the center, we have the signature alpha style hands of Parmigiani. They actually call these alpha hands delta hands. I'm gonna do a quick loom shot. There is plenty of luminescence on these hands. And then we have applique dart style indices. We also have a sunken lancet style seconds hand. Take a close look and you can see that there are little lollipop intermediate indices on that sub-register. And then of course we have a little applique for the company's name. Though the watch is dressy and perhaps not used for precision timing, like a sports watch might be, it does feature hack seconds, which is a nice refinement to have. And you could see that the cannon pinion has even been polished on its center. So the attention to finishing is fine. Take a close look at these indices. If you have a sharp set of eyes where you explode the viewfinder on your screen, you could see that they are faceted from their tops to their side. Impressive micro finishing. Parmigiani is a family of companies and their great patron is the Sandoz Family Foundation. This is considered to be their watch group. The Parmigiani companies include case makers, dial makers, manufacturers of parts of movements, Vauche manufacturer, which is the primary movement developer. So the Parmigiani companies provide almost every part of the watch, with the exception of some specialist pieces like sapphires, pivot stones, and shock protection. But this is the real deal here, caliber PF702, a micro rotor automatic with a lovely engraved rotor. 
It has unidirectional winding action. The rotor pivots on ceramic bearings for high efficiency and low maintenance. 48-hour power reserve. We have the stop seconds function. We have a free-sprung balance adjusted in a chronometer style five positions. That balance beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and all of this pivots on 29 joules, and it has a single mainspring barrel. So you can see that mainspring barrel as well as the drivetrain wheels, and they're all satinated. There's a solarization on the ratchet wheel atop the barrel, a satination on the wheels. We have Cote de Genève perfectly aligned across the bridges. We have engine turned perlage on the base plate. All the screw heads are black polished. And then we have a sort of hybrid beveling on the edges of the bridge. It's obviously started by mechanical means, but it's also somewhat rounded and mirrored, which suggests that artisans with handheld polishing tools uh, think a high-speed drill with a buffing attachment. Uh, that is probably how these bridges were finished, which is far more artisanal than the simple milling that you'll find on comparable movements from the likes of, for example, JLC, La Suta Original, and Audemars Piguet. This is actually to a higher standard of finish than most of those, which is a good thing, because this watch gives you a lot for your money. All of it as a dress watch, 30 meters water resistant. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.